What's up everybody? Hope you are doing great. In the next few minutes I'll do a quick price analysis and kind of also a price prediction on Mobox. Abbreviation Mbox against USDT. Uh, Mobox has had a big bull run of I think uh, 170% something like that. Yeah, 170%. Um, okay, so yeah, price is um, going down now from this uh, resistance area right now, the 0.618 of a Fibonacci. Um, in my opinion, I, I mean, Mobox is in the right industry for a big, big bull run, such as we've seen with the Sandbox. I mean, it doesn't have the project I think uh, Sandbox has. I think Sandbox has a little bit of a better project, but that's my opinion. But it is in the right sub-industry with NFTs and gaming, um, gaming NFTs, to be honest. Um, and I think the project is quite interesting as well, quite unique also, and there is potential. Uh, if you want to read more about it, check their coin market cap, but also www.mobox.io. You can find more information on that because in this uh, video we'll do a purely technical analysis. Of, of course, you should always take it to consider, co into consideration fundamental analysis. Uh, but yeah, this will be purely um, a technical analysis. So in my opinion, uh, this is the local top. I, I don't think Mobox will... Uh, go any higher in the upcoming hours. It, it might in the upcoming days, but I think it will consolidate a little bit first. Um, and I say that with a little bit of difficulty because it is looking like this uh, 0.382 FIB is uh, quite strong. Um, so yeah, the difficult part is you never really know with these cryptos. Definitely not with gaming and NFTs. They could just go to the moon. I mean, my next price target would be 20.3. So if it does go, uh, if, if this bull run does continue, only remember that area and don't remember the rest of what I'm going to say. 20.3 uh, is, in my opinion, the next resistance. Doesn't mean that from here it will drop all the way down. I just think that price will have difficulty breaking through this area. Um, and yeah, but in my opinion, the most realistic case scenario is that we will see some consolidation. I mean, 170% gain is, is quite a lot. And you tend to see that a lot of the times uh, cryptos need some, some time to consolidate and accumulate and just have some, have some rest. So I think the most realistic case scenario is that it would find um, resistance again now at probably probably at around between 14 and 13.4 so anywhere right here and that it will ultimately consolidate um, between 10.0 uh, and 14.0 uh, so price might also drop down right now I think the 10.0 will hold it's looking like a strong support level definitely with all the things that are above it 10.0 is also a psychological support level a very strong one so I think the most realistic case scenario is that we will see some consolidation between 14 and 10.0 um, and then ultimately that consolidation might take a couple of days like three to four or it might take uh, one and a half weeks to two weeks I think three to seven days is the most realistic scenario in this current market we're in. Um, and I just want to notify you that at the end of that consolidation price might drop down a little bit lower than the consolidation. So maybe to 9.5 or 9.0. Um, just to get whales, they use all sort of tactics to, to get into it lower. I could do some more explanation on that, but um, just keep that in mind that that's not necessarily bearish because I do think that th this doesn't necessarily have to happen, this, this last move to 9.3 or 9.0. Um, but I do think that if that happens, we will probably see a big uptrend or a big bull move, um, which you will probably recognize if the price will break above the 14.15. Probably something like this will happen. And then, as I said, next price target is around 20, 20.3 20 um, more precisely. Uh, in my opinion, uh, when will that happen? As I uh, said earlier, I think in the upcoming um, in the upcoming week, it's very possible that that might be reached. I mean, that's only from where we are right now. 
that's a 70% gain. So yeah, that would place it at a about 1.6, 1.7 billion market cap. Very possible for cryptos right now. Uh, so yeah, keep yeah. That's basically my analysis on, on Mobox, Mbox abbreviation. That's not financial advice. Uh, do your own research as always. And if you have any questions about this analysis, please let me know down in the comments. And I'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible. And as for now, thank you all for watching and listening. And I hope to see you all in my next videos. Bye.